Greetings, Sagittarius guys. Welcome to a new video. It's everyone's Tuesday. We're going to be doing some fantastic. We are here at the Goodwill. This is in Costa Mesa. This is the only one here. Let's go inside and see. Oh, you can see. Okay, I was looking through the bags. I got a couple already. There was like a bunch of people here when I first came in. So, didn't really look. But, I have this. Kohan? Oh, but it's damaged. Hmm. Can that be fixed? Maybe. It's twelve ninety nine. Um. Then I found this is a Rebecca Minkoff. Also twelve ninety nine. This one's pretty cute, right? Like this is a cute style. And then I found um. This is a Christopher Kwan. Christopher Kwan Atelier. Twelve ninety nine. I just like the color. It's missing the crossbody strap though, so apprehensive. But I think that's it for the handbags at least that I found. So let's see what else we can find here. Let's check out this little vase and pottery section. Do we see anything interesting that we like? This faux tree is pretty cute. I like the thing that it's in. Oh, I have something like this where I put our plates. I love it. It's like literally the best. Oh my gosh, how cute is he? Someone glued his little ear back on. Imagine if this was Lake Luce. It's not though. These bowls are cute. I have some very similar ones. So $3.99. Okay, I got my, I made my way into the mug section. I found a really cute letter N anthro mug. So good, it's only $1.99. I don't know, I'm feeling like also I put two of the bags back because it doesn't really feel them anymore. Ooh, Isaac Mizrahi, New York. These are cute. There's only two. What are these? Oh no, I don't know. Ow. Ooh, these are nice. I don't have anything on them. I think these are actually from Target maybe. Oh, what are those? These are so cute. Look at the shapes. Okay. No cups. Isaac Mizrahi, kind of cute. Mickey and Minnie Mouse, kind of cute. But let's focus on the mugs. Oh, I think someone made this. That's cool. Do you think we'll find any more anthropology mugs? Whenever I find one, I get like super, like, hopeful. These world market ones with the little bees are pretty cute. These pure ones are cute with the blue. Oh, Starbucks? No. No, no, no. I'm like, am I gonna find any more, like, letter mugs? I feel like if you find one, you're likely to find maybe another American Atelier. Here's a Starbucks. There's another Starbucks over here. Yeah, I think. Oh, this Anthropology? I was right, this one was a Starbucks. I thought it was an Anthropology for a second, but that one's $4.99. So, put that one back for now. Hola Bonita, how cute. I think that one's from Target. This is a redone right here, it says hers. Mm. Oh, a little peep. Give peeps, how cute. Possibly anthro, possibly redone. Um, but no, let's put that back. Ooh, look at that polka dot thing. Bath and Body. Okay, I found another Anthro mug, two ninety nine. Love it. I gotta find some more. Okay, I searched through the plates and stuff. I didn't see anything in here. I'm literally sweating. <laughs> I was like looking for more Anthro mugs. I found my two though so far, so worth it. Oh, I know this is Anthro. Hold on, I can tell this sticker anywhere. Yeah, anthro sticker. It's just like a little bowl though. Do I really need this? Probably not. Also, it looks a little stained and cracked, so no. Oh, 
Oh, but wait, what's this? Oh, this is kind of cute. It's an artichoke. Here, you don't need this artichoke. You need that. Oh, but what's that? Oh, they're just like little container vessel things. Why are they like honestly kind of cute for like sauces and stuff? But like, I'm sweating. It's hot. But I'm gonna be strong and we're not gonna do those at the moment. I was really strong earlier, you guys should have seen me. I was really proud of myself. I didn't buy this giant, like these two giant Waterford, like hurricane things or something. They were like pewter and glass. I don't think they were crystal, but um, they were like $25 each and they were huge. In hindsight, I feel like I probably should have bought them though, but we're still trying to be strong, so we're good. Okay, I don't know if I should get these, but there's Oh, okay, there's these three for sure, those matching ones. They're $7.99 each. These are West Elm. So those are pretty cool. This may also be West Elm as well. But, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, but maybe no, we don't need them. I just like the color of that. It's like an oil slick. It's very fun. Also, Marie. Cute. I like the color of this, corksicle. Whatever this is, it's so cute, it's a little penguin. You guys, I found a bunch of these can these like light up things. They're 15 bucks. They're not on sale yet, but these are from like Neiman Marcus. I think they like retail for like 100 bucks. And they're on sale for like 50 right now, but these are $15 here. There's a bunch of them that I saw earlier. Also, check out this Veluspa candle, French Cade and Lavender. Looks like it's only been lit like a couple times. Mm, how much is it? Mm, six bucks. It's from Anthro. It was 18 bucks. Mm. Ooh, dolphin. Dolphin. Also, check it out. I found a bunch of Crocs. Well, two Crocs. There's these, which I think I might get for myself. They're 10 bucks. And these are like brand new, but they're like glittery orange. <laughs> um, size 4. I don't know who these are going to be for. Uh, then I also found these. These are Dance Co. I thought they were um, Crocs at first, or like Birkenstocks or something. But they're Dance Co. 10 bucks. These like retail for a lot. And I was like, hmm, maybe. We'll see. Oh, a little wooden board. It's kind of cute. This is interesting as well. Perfect for some planty plants. Um, something something design. In a for Vierta. Hmm. Cute. It's like a smoky glass. I almost freaked out for a second because I thought that was a turtle. And I thought it was a planter. Like a turtle planter. I was going to cry. But I'm crying because it's not a turtle planter now. <laughs> oh, a hot mess. I actually own one of these. These are Anthro. I have a couple. $3.99. Um, that's from Target. Writer's Block Paper Q. This is actually kind of cute. $1.99. Essential oil diffuser. I kind of like this vase, but it's chipped on the sides. I'm looking at the little tchotchkes now. This little game thing, drink thing, different coasters, weighing thing. Oh, a little cat bowl, dishwasher safe. Interesting. Giant wooden pencils, glass trees. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting from the thrift because we got some really good stuff. So we went to Goodwill and then we also did go to Crossroads. I didn't film at Crossroads though, but I um, did post all that stuff on Instagram. So don't forget to follow me on there. It's linked down below in the description box. But, oh, also if you would, um, like to purchase any of these items. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it yet by the time this video goes up, but I want to make items, um, start trying to make items purchasable in from like the videos when I do the hauls. Uh, so check the description box. There should be, there may or may not be yet 
links to purchase. Uh, purchase prices will also include shipping to make it easier um, for purchasing just through the videos. Um, otherwise, you can check out the live sales because um, they'll probably they'll probably be in the live sales if they don't sell. Um, or you can ask me during the live sale if I still have it. So, all right. Anyway, um, or you can send me an email as well. Send me an email. My email is down below in the description box as well. Uh, but let's start with what I got from the Goodwill because I got some pretty good stuff. Uh, hold on, let me just. Okay. I'm going to start off with the shoes. I got some shoes. These are just some Crocs. And they are a men's size 11, so I, I feel like they're going to be a little large on me. I'm going to try them on. Yeah, they're a little large. Though, um, I know you can shrink Crocs uh, during the summer. I feel like if it's really hot, you just like leave them outside. I think if you put them in the dryer or something, they'll shrink. But um, I've actually had... Uh, success in shrinking my Crocs a little bit by just leaving them outside. They, I did it during the past summer for a pair of Crocs that I had. And I think they were also size 11 and I they shrank. And I was just like checking on them periodically through the day. And by like after like a few hours, because it was really, really hot, they shrank and I was like, oh, these are perfect. So um, these just need a good cleaning, but I like the color and they're the kind of kind of look like Birkenstocky with just like the two pieces right there. And these were $10. So I have those. And then I also did get another pair of Crocs. <laughs> these are really fun though. They have like the little strap on the back. These are just like the regular kind of Crocs that they have. And these are kind of special though because they are in a super fun glittery orange. And the glitter is in like different rainbow colors. And these are a junior size four. And these are like literally brand new. They still have the little tag attached to them. Um, the store did write on the bottom of them, but it's on the bottom. I think I might be able to get it all out too. These were $8. Brand new Crocs. Very exciting. They're kind of like the ones I'm wearing right now, except the ones I'm wearing are like the platform ones, and these are in purple. <laughs> I know. They look crazy, but I love them. They're so comfy, and they make me so much taller. I can reach stuff in the house. I don't need a ladder. It's like... You know, then okay, let's put those on the floor. Uh, I love when they wrap stuff up for you at the store, kind of like un like opening a present. Okay, this next thing that I have, this is a anthropology mug, and I'm kind of obsessed. I love it. I love the letter mugs, first of all, from Anthropology, but I really like the print on this one. I've actually never seen this style before, and this has the letter N. I love the blue, and it's almost like a, is it a paisley print that's on it? I also like the little handle. You can carry it. So, really, really cute. There you go. So you can hold it like that. Um, yeah, it says Anthropology down under, and it's in really great shape. It also has a little speckles on the inside too. This was only $1.99, which was very exciting, unprecedented, because I feel like they normally price anthropology mugs kind of expensive. They will price them like $3.99 and up. So nice to see one for only $1.99, and it's really cute. I love the letter, the letter mugs. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the letter, this letter N one, because I don't think, do I know anyone whose name starts with an N? Nancy, Nicole. I mean, N for nice. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so I got that. Ooh, then the other anthropology mug. It kind of goes with the other one. It's also blue. Um, but it's this one right here. It's in this like blue gradient and it has like the the gold flex throughout. I actually have two of the mugs for this collection. I have a um, I have a green one, and then I have a pink one. So now I have the blue one, which is pretty cool. And uh, one of these days, I'm going to have a bunch. I'm going to have a whole set. So um, this one is, that's why I knew, <laughs> like, the brand, Sweet One Studio or something. Um, yeah, they, they made these for anthropology. And this was $2.99. A little bit more expensive, but I feel like it's still good. I love it. So very excited about this mug. And then, I think this is the last item that I got at the Goodwill. And it was 
the Rebecca Minkoff uh, little satchel bag right here and it's in gray. I love all these details like the like woven whip stitch leather detail here on the front. There also are um, two pockets. There's one on each side right here and they zip and they're their own individual pockets. They don't connect, so that's pretty cool. There's another pocket here in the back. We've got the tap handles. Crossbody strap is adjustable and removable, which is fantastic. And then the interior is actually not in bad shape. Um, it's actually pretty clean inside of there. This was $12.99. There's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets on the inside. It zips across the top as well. And here's how it looks on pretty nice this is a good size too um and the bag isn't too heavy either so it's good for every day but it's um big enough to fit like a lot of stuff uh you can almost use this as like a weekend or even like an overnight bag it's a pretty good size and i like that it has a top handle built into it so a couple different options for carrying it. Very nice. All right, we'll set that down over there. Now, let's move into what I got from Crossroads. Got a little baggy bag of stuff right here. Okay, first up, I have, this is a Coach Tabby, and this one is gorgeous. It's in uh, three different layers, le oh, four different layers, actually. So this is a pebbled leather, kind of like in an off-white color. Then we have this snake print and embossed leather, and then this is just a, like a light-grained tan leather. And then on the back, we have a smooth, like off-white leather. It's the same color as the top flap, but it's just smooth. There are a couple little dents in the back. I'm hoping that they'll come out. I will try to uh, get them out with like heat, but there is a little bit of I don't know if like discoloration, color transfer, something on the corners. And also in the top flap right here, there's a couple little spots. Um, so we're gonna sort that out and fix it. There is a nice big back pocket right here. We have a little top handle. I like that the underside is a smooth leather and the top is the snake. Then you can carry it like this, which is nice. And then you have the crossbody strap, which I love that this is like the one inch thick straps. I love like a wider strap. It makes it nicer on your shoulder. And this is adjustable and removable. And then you can wear it like that. And the straps are both removable. So if you wanted to move them onto different bags, you can, or just use one on each or one of the straps on the bag at a time, or just remove them both and then use this as a clutch. This bag is pretty versatile. So you can use it in a lot of different ways. This also does have the hang tag. It's right there on the side. And also what I found out is that you can actually change out the hardware on these bags. Uh, I saw a TikTok about it, but you just unscrew the hardware right here and then you can switch it out with something else. So I thought that was pretty nice. There's a front pocket. There's a middle dividing zipper pocket and then just another pocket in the back. And this does have the original care booklet uh, with it. And this one was $42.50. There's our beautiful Coach Tabby. Fantastic. We love the Tabby. Though my favorite still is the Pillow Tabby. But they have some new ones. They have like a Box Tabby, which is really nice. And also the Jelly Tabby, which is so fun. And has sold out, I think, completely recently. Like it came out and like within a few days, sold out completely. But they're so cute. Okay, next up. Now this one is a bag by a brand called Stod, and it's in yellow. It kind of reminded me of the Loewe Flamenco bag, which I love that bag. I actually own two of them. <laughs> and it's in this really pretty like butter yellow. I love that it has these little leather pieces right here. It reminds me of like those kids toys where you like you move the little piece like through the wire that's shaped funny. Um, they just move like this though, like they can't move them all the way up. There's like a little stopper, so it's just like that. This does uh, have a crossbody strap though, which is fantastic. And the crossbody strap too is um, adjustable and it is removable. So you can take it off and then just carry this bag as a top handle as well. But it's really fun. 
It has silver hardware. Um, there is a little bit of color transfer on it, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm gonna see if I can get it off. So let's cross our fingers that Hadrian can remove it. And it just has a magnetic snap right there. And the interior is in suede and there's just one interior, interior zipper pocket inside of there. And there's the bottom. There is a little color transfer too on the bottom as well, but it's not as much. It might not even be color transfer, it just might be dirty. So maybe it just needs a cleaning. But we're gonna clean this bag up and see how beautiful we can make it. Yes, stud, fantastic. Okay, then up next, I have, uh, this is a Kate Spade like lunch pail bag. And this is a actually newer style from Kate Spade too. So this style is fairly recent that just came out and it's in a, a Safiano leather in black and then gray. It has silver hardware. So this is um, a newer hardware style from Kate Spade. There's a front pocket right here. Um, this is what the back looks like. It's in the black leather on the back. This was $28. Top handle, crossbody strap is adjustable and removable, which is nice. And then it just opens up kind of like a lunch pail, like this. It does have gussets on the side, so your stuff doesn't pour, uh, like pour out when you open it. But there's the interior, it's in pink um, lining, and there's one interior pocket just right there. But it's really cute. I love the style of this. The zipper was like a little difficult for a second. I think um, I'll put like a, I rub wax paper along the zipper and it helps it become more smooth. That's like a little trick that you can do to make your zippers more smooth. But this is how it looks, crossbody. It's a really nice bag. It's a good size to your cell phone. Um, I have the largest iPhone. It does fit inside of here. iPhone 14 Max, Pro Max or whatever. It does fit inside of the bag really nicely and you can still fit a lot of other stuff inside of there too, even if it is a smaller bag. There's that, okay. And then, is that it that was in here? Okay, last but not least. Okay, these are really, really cool. These shoes I feel like have gone viral all over like TikTok and Instagram and everyone has been talking about them. All like the fashion influencers, influencers have been talking about them. And they're hailed as one of the most comfortable shoes ever. They're also very expensive. I looked these shoes up. They retail for $1,050 online. And I have them in my hot little hands. Um, they are the Loro Piana Loafers. They're beautiful. They're in, um, I think this is like a new book, and it's in like this red maroon color. They're in really good shape too. They don't have too much wear on them. These are a size 39. Um, I had them in the sale, but then I ha had mom try them on this morning, and she really, really likes them. She did say they are very, very comfortable. She said they're a little big, but she'll just wear them with thick socks, apparently. Or she'll put one of those, um, she has like these little sticker things that you put inside your shoes to help them fit better if they're a little big for you. So I think that's what she's gonna end up doing because she really, really likes them. Uh, but I got these for only $85. I got them for like 90% off which is crazy, and they're in pretty good shape. I mean, like, they're amazing, and they look so cute on my mom, and I was, like, worried that they are gonna be too big, but, like, they, like, she was wearing thick socks when she tried them on, and they fit perfectly, and she's like, oh, like, if she wasn't wearing thick socks, they'd be a little loose, but she has the little trick with the thing that you put inside your shoe, so it's perfect. These are called the Summer Walks by Loro Piana. And yeah, they're so cute, aren't they cool? So very exciting. Uh, we got the TikTok viral Loro Piana $1,000 shoes for 10% of the retail price.
which is nuts. That's why I love thrifting so much. You can, you never know what you're gonna find. You can find some really, really amazing stuff. So let me know too if you guys have found anything cool recently, because I always love hearing about your finds as well. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Everything is down below in the description box. Follow mom too. Follow mom on Instagram. Her Instagram will be linked down below. Uh, tune in tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. And I also will link the next live sale where you can um, shop some of these items that I showed you guys today and some new items as well. Um, I will link the new video. If you can't join the live sale, you can always watch the replays. And that's of any of the uh, live sale videos. You can watch the replays and shop from them. Check the description boxes of those videos. Item availability and the pricing will be there. And if you have any questions or would like to purchase anything, just send me an email and... Yes, that is it for today. <sighs> I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Bye, guys.